As you can see by the gray speckled wall behind me, I'm in an airport. I'm in Toronto. On my way to England. Aha! Uh -huh. In a stirring turn of events, it is not raining in England. It looks like it wants to, though. More on that later. When I went through the checkpoint in Winnipeg, when I got on the plane, the TSA confiscated my peanut butter. That guy thinks I'm crazy. So that's good. So, they confiscated my peanut butter. And not because of some weird, like, pilot and the co-pilot and the stewardesses. That's access to us, not the steward people. Is that what they're called now? Flight attendants, that's what they're called now. Or just somehow all going to be anaphylactically allergic to peanut butter. They confiscated it because they deemed it to be a liquid, which I had a number of problems with. Oh, they think I'm crazy too. Because peanut butter is not a liquid. I'm going to deconstruct the two arguments that the TSA agent gave me for why peanut butter was a liquid. And yes, I got into an argument with a TSA agent over whether or not peanut butter was a liquid. She was not impressed, but I was very careful with my wording and didn't threaten anything, and therefore she couldn't get mad at me and kick me out. Well, she probably could have. But she didn't! She was getting frustrated, though. I probably shouldn't have argued with a TSA agent about peanut butter. Anyways, she gave me two reasons for why peanut butter is a liquid. Number one, it's not a solid or a gas, therefore it's a liquid. I guess at room temperature you're not gonna get a plasma which requires excessive heat or a Bose-Einstein condensation which requires near absolute zero temperatures, so fine. But just because you say that all non-solid, non-gaseous things are liquids doesn't make peanut butter a liquid. You have to actually define a liquid. So of course she did. Her liquid definition was, if you can put your finger into it, it's a liquid. There are many solid things that are definitely not liquid that you can put your finger into. I'm not gonna go into more detail than that because that sounded dirty. Secondly, not a good definition of liquid. Elementary school science. Yes, it's elementary, my dear Watson. Sherlock Holmes didn't actually say that. Shut up, I hope that worked, because I'm not doing that again. People in the airport think that I'm crazy. People in the airport think that I'm crazy. Elementary school science teaches you that pretty much all liquids, I'm gonna just go with all liquids, you can prove me wrong in the comments, all liquids are fluids. And a fluid, by definition, will fill any container that it is in. So you put some water into a container, it fills the width and size of the container, and then the more water you put in, it fills up the container. If you put a ball into a container, it just sits there in ball shape. If you put a scoop of peanut butter into a container, it just sits there as a scoop of peanut butter. Unless you melt it. Pause there for a second. Melting turns a solid into a liquid. The fact that you need to melt peanut butter to make it fill its container suggests that it's not a liquid. It is a very, very malleable solid, but it is definitely a solid. We have a new theory on peanut butter. It might be an edible gel, says the girl who doesn't think I'm crazy for videotaping myself in an airport. <laughs> I suppose I could have bought that it was a gel. But she didn't say gel, she said liquid, and that bothers me. I'm in England! It's been fun. When I arrived in England, I arrived at this very beautiful, easy to read sign that showed me where I was going. From. Katie from Uninhabitable Planets, and Stephen. I'm gonna go now because I'm just being awkward in front of a camera, so bye! <laughs>